Hello and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how to implement a Modbus TCP server and client by using the Python module PyModbusTCP. I hope you all know what Modbus is. If not, I will give you a very quick overview. So, Modbus is a data communications protocol um, which was which is used for transferring data between a programmable logic controller, a PLC, and some other devices. And it's a pretty old protocol. It's over 40 years old, but still good. There are various implementations of Modbus. For example, Modbus RTU uses a serial connection to transfer its data, but we will focus on Modbus TCP which uses Ethernet networks for communication. So Modbus TCP has a server client architecture. A Modbus server offers data you can read from and write to. And then a client can connect to the server and reads and writes the data, data it desires. But how does the data look like in a Modbus? server or in a Modbus master device. So here are the various object types which exist. We have coils which are bits you can read to and write, uh, which you can read and write. We have discrete inputs which, which are read-only bits. We have input registers which are um, read-only double words and we have holding registers which are read and writable double words. So for our implementation of our server we will use PyMopus TCP. Here is a read the doc page of PyMopus TCP. You can see um, the module has three submodules, one from the client, one for the server and for one, one for utils. And down here are some examples which show you how to use PyMopus TCP but today I want to create my own example. Okay, I have already installed the module PyMopus TCP, but if you don't, it's pretty easy. You can use pip to install it. Just execute the command pip install PyMopus TCP and this will install the module on your machine. Okay, let's navigate into my Pythons folder and I will create a script here called simple modbus server.py and inside here I will implement my modbus server. Okay, first let's import some necessary modules. So from py modbus tcp server I will import the class modbus server for our server and the and databanks which is used to set the values of the modbus server. Okay. Then here we'll create an instance of modbus server. I will call my object server. And here I can pass the IP address of the Mopus server, the port number, which I will take 12345, and I will set one more attribute, which is called noBlock, and I will set it to true, and I will tell you later why I have set this to true. Okay, and now I will start the server. Start server start the server all you have to do is call the method server start and after I have started the server I will print server is online. Okay and that's why I took the argument no block. I set the argument no block to true because if I wouldn't um, our program would stay inside this method as long as the server is running and so we can continue and this next command will be executed. Okay, and here 
let's create an endless loop continue okay and if I press control C an exception will be thrown and I will shut down my server okay and the method to shut down the server is called server um, stop print server is offline so I hope I haven't made a mistake here let's test it okay now our server is running and if I press control C the server will shut down this is a really simple server but we don't have any data in it so now let's um, change that okay I will just use holding registers here but you can use any kind any, op any registers of the types which are available so I will have to import some more modules from time I will import sleep from um, and from random um, I will import uni for un uniform to create random numbers so let's change it here so our server should lo look like this we have one register in which the server will write a random value and this is register zero so data bank set words to address zero we want to write um, we want to write a number in the range of zero to hundred and the function is called set birds because you can set more registers by just appending this list but in our case this is enough okay and then um, register 1 should be written by the client and every time we write to register 1 um, the current value of the register 1 should be um, printed out here so I will declare a variable state and I will set it to 0 here so and state is databank.get words and here I have to type to give the address from which I want to write and the second argument would be the, the amount of registers I want to read but I just want to read one register and one is a default value so I can skip that okay now we have feedback the state but we only want to save it if the variable has changed so if state is not equal to the value in the inside the register so we will print um, value of register 1 has changed to and here we will print the new value ok and the last thing we need is I will um, add a little delay here ok so this is our server let's try to run the server and if I haven't made a mistake ok I have <laughs> of course now our server is online and will contain some data ok so let's connect to our server with our client I won't make a script for it I will just type it here in my Python shell so from pymodbus tcp I will client I will import um, modbus client ok now I will create an object of the class modbus client and the arguments we need is, is um, the host 
or the IP address under which we can reach the server and the port number. And that's it. To connect to our server we just have to execute the method open and if it returns true we are connected now. So let's read holding registers. Okay and now we want to read the random value. So the first argument is the address, the second one if we want to read more than one um, registers we can specify the number here but one is enough and now we can see the value is changing every 500 mil, um, milliseconds. And now let's read register 1. For this we will need the um, method write single register. Okay, the address is 1 and the new value should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now we can see the value has changed here. And it is also possible to write multiple registers. Multiple, multiple registers. Um, the only thing that changed here is now we have to specify a list here. Write our registers. Okay, and now if we read back the registers here. Okay, the registers are set to the values and if we want to close the connection all we have to do is execute the method close. This will disconnect the client from the server and I will stop the server here by pressing Ctrl C. So that's it. That's how to implement a Mopus server and client by using PyMopus TCP. Pretty simple, huh? So I hope you enjoy the video. I will, I will um, load my server's script up to my Git um, Hub repository, and I will put the link to the description so you, you can take a look at it. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.